Welcome back to the Youth Alert program. Uh, in this unit, we're going to talk about principles. Another name for principles could be standards, values. You could have life, work, and standards, and principles, and more. Some people have different kind of standards. Some people have a uh, view the country as standard. Uh, some people view the law as their standard. Some people view their standards as money. Um, some people look at their way of life through religion, politics, or even the media. Uh, your principles is sort of your prism, how you look at life and how you take it in. It's how you view the world. It is your worldview. It is changed on your standards, your principles. Um, I'm going to tell you what Youth Alert's principles are. This is what we believe for reference. Our standards, we call it the high five principles. And what they are is peace, life, love, freedom, and equality. That's it. Youth Alert only believes in five things. We call them the high five principles. Peace, life, love, freedom, and equality. That's everything we believe all wrapped together. If it's not there, we don't believe in it. Uh, and we call these the untouched principles because you can't actually touch them. They're intangible. Uh, you, you, know, you can't put them in a box and give them to somebody. Uh, you know, we don't believe that you can give freedom or you can give life or you can give peace that you can either recognize it or not. So it's not really for humans to give, it's for us to recognize or not. Humans did not create equality, freedom, love, life, and peace. That's why we can't destroy them either. They were made by greater forces, we believe, which is God, nature, or both, depending on your beliefs. And so what we encourage kids to do is to think of the high five principles, the big things. I know we all get caught up in small, trivial things. It's natural. But really what counts is just the five big things. And actually, when you look at life through these five principles, decisions are very, very, very easy. It's very rare that you'll have a situation where life will come up against love or freedom will come against the cause. Most decisions in life are easy when you just narrow it down to the high five principles. Now, we believe uh, peace is first. Peace we call the first principle of everything because without peace you cannot enjoy life, love, freedom, or equality. We call peace is the gateway. So that's why we have no problem saying that youth are, we are a bunch of peace activists because peace is the first step to creating that. And we also call equality the super principle. And that it stands alone by itself, equality, but it also ties the rest of the high five together. It does double duty. It makes sure that all these five principles, peace, life, love, freedom, and equality are in fact equal. It does two jobs. So that's why we call it the high five, the high five principles. Now what we hope you will not believe in is something we call the low five principles. The low five principles is selfish, hate, violence, greed, and lust. Uh, you know, selfishness is the failed principle. Uh, hate is the self-destructive principle. And violence is, of course, the evil principle. But if you were to take all the, the low principles together, the low five, you'll see that they really are just one thing, selfishness. We believe that money is not the root of all evil, that selfishness is the root of all evil. So that's when you hear things of self-serving, self-appointed, self-righteous, self-promoting. We believe those are reflecting the low principles. Now, let's compare the low principles to the high principles. You know, when you, when you have the world right side up with peace, love, life, freedom, and equality, this is what we believe in. You will be satisfied. That is the number one trait of the high five principles. You will be rewarded. True friendship, true team, a long life, uh, you know, survival, you know, good and right. These are words that describe when the world is right side up with the high five principles. Now with the low five principles, we believe the world is upside down, that you will never 
be satisfied. Low five principles, selfishness can never be satisfied. They are punished by both sides. Uh, you'll have a short life. You will, you know, it's death and violence and unnecessary. We believe the low five principles are a dead end. Where the high five principles, not only are they rewarded, but it is a clear passage to keep on going. You will end up in a uh, dead end if you continue with the low five, a never ending road with the high five. Now, how do you do it? Uh, since there's only five principles, how do you just apply something so simple? Well, we'll believe again that they all must work equally together in form and function, style and substance, some substance uh, process and product, that they all work equally. You cannot sacrifice one for the other. You cannot sacrifice love for equality or life for freedom or peace for equality. Um, when it comes to violence, bullying, and abuse, which we believe is the root of all evil, the uh, root of all the problems in this world, you, the ends does not justify the means. In other words, you must be principled to attain principles. Another word for being principled is moral. You must be moral to become moral. They must all work together equally. So when you follow all the principles equally from the start, then you have morality. Then you have a model youth. Then you have a model adult. You know, but it takes practice. When you only have five principles, it takes a little while to look at it in that way. You know, that's how we think we're going to make a lot of progress in the inner city and in some of the tougher areas of the world with model youth and model adults. There are much more of them than people who worship um, selfishness. So by being all the youth being model youth, all the adults being model adults, believing in the good principles of humanity, we believe that will raise the bar, that will raise the tide in any troubled area faster than anything. We literally have selfish people outnumbered and surrounded. So, where does it begin? This is, you know, there are many principles, as I said, low five, the high five, there's many, many more. How did these five get to be the ones that you feel like believe in? Because we believe these are the five family principles, that of all the principles that were out there, families took these five and made them part of its life. So we believe that families are close units, family, you can hold it either one, we believe that's the center of the human universe. And the center of the human universe families and the center of families is the high five principles. So if your principles are working in your family, they will work everywhere. If these high five principles are not working in your family, better start from scratch again. You need to start from, because everything about these high five principles, everything about peace is from the inside out. And in this case, it means from families out. Again, when we say families, we mean close unit. Any group that feels close to each other is a close unit is equal to a family. You don't have to, you can make up your own close unit. Um, because everybody's got the special combination. Everybody's got their own definition. And uh, if we had any uh, secret glue that we could use, it would be to strengthen close units and families, because this is the birthplace, this is the, um, where the high five principles uh, exist and where they expand on.